Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Decidedly Neapolitan with me, Kane83. I've been doing a little bit of remodeling around the place because um, I figured when when Pix came and visited me uh, during the week, he uh, came down the bottom to see me and then uh, yeah, he doesn't, because he's using Thorncraft stuff, he doesn't have wings or that kind of thing. So it made it a little bit tricky for him to get around. Once he's down, he could use the the lifts to get back up, the elevator blocks to get back up. But um, he had some problems getting down and, you know, I, I just, I realised that I built this thing only considering my own abilities. Um, so we've got to make this thing a bit more... Um, accessible. I was going to say like have disability access, but that's that's not. It's it's non-special ability access. It's norm norm access friendly. Something like that anyway. Cuz um I have the gift of of not flight but float. I have the gift of float such as that. Um and yeah, so I figured I needed to do something about it so that the rest of uh, society can can come join in the fun. Uh, so, that being said, what I've done, where do I need to go to show you this? Um, I have started putting in a staircase, which goes all the way around the edge of the cylinder, around the outside, uh, and it's half slabs all the way. At the moment, I don't know if this is going to be quick enough, um, you know, whether it needs to be full staircases so you get down a lot faster and I can link things up a bit better I'm not sure but um, you know I thought I'd give it a go anyway and it's looking good unfortunately where it meets other things it's kind of interrupted and so I'm having to do a bit of restructuring around some places so this this down here is the factory room um, as before and I, I don't know if I'd already done this I think I had I moved the forestry stuff uh, oh, over into this room here um, with another corridor I've now opened up over this way so you can get to it from either side so I'll tidy up that entrance somehow I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet maybe move it across one that might be the best answer for that um, and yeah so I've been I've started looking at the oh, that I need to build the path there. Um, I've started looking at the uh, forestry stuff because you may remember I was looking at the mailbox thing and I decided that was far too much work. Um, well, I thought I'd have a crack at it anyway, see how hard it is to get some kind of endless supply of uh, stamps and letters is the, is the goal so that we can make it uh, a free system for everyone. Um, so yeah, with that in mind, I've set up, uh, I'm starting to build an apiary because that's where you get, um, that's where you get, propolis, there we go, propolis from, and honey drops obviously, part of the same thing. Um, so, I started uh, doing that, which is actually, seems pretty complicated, but I'm tackling it a step at a time. Uh, and we're going to see how we go. I've set up a couple of Sterling engines which keep breaking um, so I keep having to to leave them for a bit to recover um, so yeah you, you've got uh, oak wood in that shape forms the impregnated casing but it has to be impregnated I think with seed oil because it's, it's very unclear like the wiki doesn't help and the stuff that comes with the mod I don't know maybe I'm just missing but uh, I think it needs all 10,000 seed oil to be present before it'll infuse. I think this this goes into here um, somehow. So yeah, uh, to get that seed oil, I built a squeezer and I've thrown in some melon seeds. And obviously this Stelling engine is not powered at the moment, uh, so it's not doing anything currently. But that produces the buckets of seed oil, which I can then put in there and start the whole process again so that can now go back in the top there and I need to fuel this again 
So let's go get some fuel. Uh, I built a little fuel production station uh, until my lava system is ready and running. Is this the right way? No, this is not the right way. It's over that end. There we go. I, I don't know my own way around here yet. It's really annoying. Uh, but yeah, so I've produced. There we go. Let's just take a stack for now. Uh, a ton of that and I've got a tree farm up outside so I'm just logging every now and then and uh, yeah so that's producing charcoal for me at a good rate so we'll come back down here uh, and we'll set that stuff going again here we go we will put some in there and some in there and while that's squeezing the remainder of those let's go and get some more seeds oh yes we've got the new post office until such times as the other one is ready uh, we are going to how do we how, how do we do uh, do we have to break this and replace it? Shift right click. Ah, shift right click. There we go. So we can just type in here then. Uh, Kane eighty three, and then we need an item in there. Um, what are we going to put in there? Let's put another torch. Ah, torch. There we go. There we go, that will do us. Uh, so we've now got this, so the idea is somebody throws something in and then hits the light to say, oh look, that's got uh, some mail in it. So there you go. Okay, so now that we've got the melons, uh, what we need to do is come back over here and we need to turn them all into melon seeds uh, and then we can place all of them into this machine and off goes the squeezer once again uh, squeeze in more of that and that's going to gradually fill up and once we've got a bucket full the bucket will drop down here so it would seem that charcoal is not a valid fuel source <laughs> for those machines. It has to be coal or presumably lava, I guess. Uh, so let's get back upstairs and fetch some of the reserves of my uh, fuel, which I think are up here. Yeah, there we go. Block of coal there. Let's get a couple of blocks, actually and uh, then we can get this thing back up and running you know what, let's just put the whole block in huh okay so maybe it's not the uh, fuel no it's used some why are you not taking fuel What's up with you? RF energy from an engine to function. You've got RF energy. This. Why are these not working? Why aren't you guys stopping? taken out your fuel I've taken away your redstone torches why aren't you stopping so I have built myself a magmatic dynamo uh, <laughs> because things need power there we go that's much better and I think it's going at a much faster rate as well which is nice um, so yeah I don't know what was up with the sterling engines there but uh, that seems to have sorted the issue so once that fills up uh, with 
10,000 is one bucket and this I think needs oh no 1,000 is one bucket and that needs 10,000 okay so I'm gonna keep harvesting seeds and filling this up and hopefully we might get to the point today where we actually got an apiary don't like bees so epic fail guys <laughs> as usual I got it all wrong it turns out that this is not providing the resources all this is doing is giving you a pattern so what I need to do is get back my wood wherever that is if I not I've used it all up now typical I've used it all up so let's go upstairs and I need to go out this way don't I and now we can wander outside hopefully there are no creepy creepy creepers oh, there's a zomberman and a skeleton we we'll just duck out of their way for a minute is there any over here looking alright over here hopefully those guys will take care of themselves but in the meantime we are going to knock down a few trees like a soul oh dear I've been watching Slipgator recently I'm starting to take on his uh, colloquialisms can't be good uh, oh there we go oh you're not allowed to save up your hits on your lagginess annoying lots of zombies out today ow stop cheating so now that we've got our wood uh, this as I was saying this is the pattern and this is where you put your ingredients uh, so we've done that and oh look there it goes straight away so I've been basically tiring myself trying to get enough seed oil together when actually I had plenty um, let's, oh I need to power I need to move the power uh, okay so now we should have some power or are we out this thing's not stored enough okay are you using it up? No, you're not using it up. Right, we need a bit more lava. Let's go get some more lava. And there we go. It's building it now. So we have got ourselves an impregnated casing. Fantastic. Uh, we don't need another one. So let's put a hold on that for now. Uh, I can't get that out again can I that's in there for good now okay well we'll leave those machines charging up anyway so we can use them again in the future um, but yeah we want to finish making our apiary if we can what am I missing out on so we got that and then it's just wood and plank okay so we're we're hot to chop basically let's go find ourselves a uh, table of crafting I don't think I've there is one in my thing there actually let's go use that one uh, right do I have any actual wood no I don't so let's get some of them why am I hearing nasty beasties hmm don't seem to be in this room anyway never mind okay so we got some wood we got some of these and I think it was something like that we got an apiary uh, I'm wondering if it's worth actually making an advanced oh no that's not an advanced one it's an industrial apiary there's something else isn't there is that it apiarist chest I know there's another level, uh, so let's go forestry. Uh, that's what we've just made is the bee house thing. Oh well, we'll we will make do with an apiary for now. We're only starting out, so uh, I guess we have to figure out what to do with this thing now that we got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let's go pop it outside 
and see what happens. So let's see what happens if we um, put our apiary down maybe somewhere over here and then I've got a forest princess uh, which is going in there I don't know can I do no we can't put two of those in so I need some kind of drone or something I will see if I can find one okay guys I found some bees I have put uh, them in here and we now have a queen bee meadows queen and uh, thing, things are happening I had to um, bone meal the area to get a ton of flowers in um, but yeah something's happening so uh, who knows what's going on but hey, uh, think things are happening. So on that note, I am going to call it a day for today. And I'll see you next time.